Hey, hi, YouTubers. I'm Grandma Nan, and I'm here today to uh, smoke a little herbs with you. I don't know if you've tried any of these herbs before, but this is what we're doing today. A few herbs. You can see them there. All right. So, all right, we've uh, we've tried uh, sarsaparilla, we've tried rosemary, we've tried lobelia, we've tried mullion, uh, we've tried uh, damiana, and now we're going to try basil. Simple basil. Just a little sip. Always sip what you smoke, just in case, and then you won't cough yourself to death. Although coughing's good if you've got phlegm on your bronchioles, you want to spit it out. But uh, uh, when you're not ready to spit because you're in mixed company, uh, you don't really want to cough much. So save your coughing for when you're alone, where you can uh, spit it out. Now, anyway, that's the way I feel. I. I, it, it's one thing to cough, but another thing to spit. And you do need to spit it out. Basil. We're trying basil. It's very interesting. So far, we found that uh, rosemary was the nicest. It left a little oil like hash does on your tongue. It was kind of interesting. You don't need to drag it all the way down. You want to keep it up there in your mouth or like tasting wine, you know, the wine taste where you roll it around in your mouth and then you spit it out. Well, that's kind of what you want to do with uh, with herbs. You want to just kind of roll them around in your mouth, let your uh, receptors in your brain take them, and, uh, and then blow it out. No sense in overdoing it. I mean, the kids like to get plastered and fall off the couch, but if you're a grandma like me, you don't really want to fall off the chair or fall anywhere else. So you want to go a little easy and uh, smoke these things. Uh, just a little sip. Here's Phil, our next to our last trial smoke. And I had, I bought the dill uh, already crushed up. Normally you get the dill seeds, right? You put them right in your salad and they're delicious. But I figured the seeds might be a little bit harsh to smoke, so I bought the uh, pulp. Not bad. Not as sweet. Basil has a sweet taste. Dill has a, uh, I almost wanted to say a pickled taste. Uh, but it has a more subtle taste. It isn't sweet. But hey, it's doable. Run out of weed, uh, there's always another weed to smoke. You're never broke. You're never out of it. There's always something to smoke. And for most of us, it's the smoking uh, that's what we're addicted to, the sucking. If we didn't get enough 
sucking when we were a baby, huh? The last one to try is uh, licorice. And of course, licorice like peppermint, we know the flavor, but I've never smoked licorice, so I'm anxious to try it. So I eat it as candy to help when my throat gets all uh, anxious, but I've never smoked it, so this is going to be interesting. A little licorice. harsh and a lot woody. But they do, it does look pretty woody. Very woody. See, it's still burning. Mm -hmm. feel like I'm out camping, smoking the woods. Yep, I'd have to say, I would have to say, aside from pot, of course, being number one, that is weed, cannabis, marijuana, THC being number one, I would have to say, uh, if you're desperate, uh, the one to try, the one to smoke, if it, of course, we didn't do the peppermint, that might be even better, maybe we should try it. But it was the rosemary who, uh, who's the winner of all the herbs, I think. And so, that's our test for today. And, uh, and so I say to you, take care of those that love you. Love those that take care of you. And stay high. And we'll see you next time.